Yeah, my name is Richard Bowles, and I'm the site safety manager under the joint venture of Turner Top Grade Flatiron. The process of implementing safety comes from what I like to call safety science. You know, we, there's no reason to invent processes and procedures just for the site. It starts with each subcontractor submitting their safety submittals, just as they do on the means and method side. I review that. The key document that they submit is what we call a job hazard analysis. What that is, is defines, based upon the scope of work that every trade contractor would perform, uh, it defines their task, the likely hazards associated with those tasks, and how they would control that. So that provides the, the primary uh, documentation and the primary process by which we evaluate and monitor the workplace uh, safety program. OSHA, and specifically Cal OSHA, has very well-defined rules and regulations um, that make up what we may refer to as the do's and the don'ts. And we reinforce that with every worker who shows up at the site, and that's done in an in initial orientation. Uh, and that's not training. That's reminding the worker what they, we expect that they already know, what their employer says that they, they, they will know to make them fit for duty and we make sure that they understand to put those workplace rules in perspective of this work site. But the badge is, is the result of um, the orientation process. This badge, which is you know, a sticker that's placed on the hard hat, represents the fact that they've gone through the orientation that I just mentioned, and that that gives them access and ability to work on the site. Anyone who does not display a badge automatically calls into question, you know, why they're here. And if they're here, are they here under some other process? This is all part of good, tried and proven processes that are, are uh, integral part of what Turner and most construction companies like ours do. Every day, every trade contractor for every crew produces what we call uh, pre-task plans. I, when I go out and do my inspections, I take every one of those pre-task plans with me so I can see and actually have a look at what they planned for their safe work practices for that crew for the day. And then I just basically see if it's being done. Now, we collect a lot of data here at this uh, site, and that's uh, put into various reports for management as, as well as for sort of our internal uh, monitoring. This is an example of a, a report, this smaller version, that actually captures the results of our job site audits. And so it's, we, we look at various levels of daily submissions, weekly submissions, then the actual activities that we monitor in the field. If there's incidents or issues, those are, are uh, documented with uh, narratives, but we have to monitor and actually look at all the various things that we require of our trade contractors to produce. Every week we summarize the results of that so our management team can actually see. And these are, this is one version of our report that looks at these seven measures and based upon the uh, indicators here, the bar chart indicators, you can see that we're, we're having, uh, we're, we're performing at a pretty safe level. The, the uh, lowest of these indicators is ladders, um, which just means that uh, there may have been some ladders that were less than secure or, or improperly pr placed when um, some of the trade activities are going on. But overall, this is a very safe, uh, compliant work site. And I am proud to be a part of this organization and doing what we are with our good, productive, and safe trade contracts.